Your content is highly engaging, highly interested, and highly acted upon. If you don't have a way to intentionally do that, it's never going to happen on purpose, which means that people who could utilize your products, your services, people who could take your advice are not going to pay attention to you because they don't resonate with it, because they don't connect with it. And that's one of the biggest problems that I see a lot of folks in our industry have or just service providers, business owners have is that they don't have a way to, to make their content, especially their video content, valuable enough for somebody to say, damn, this is good. Let me share it. Damn, this is great. Let me take some action on it. Damn, let me download this thing or let me click on this advertisement or let me sign up for this challenge. Let me sign up for this webinar. You won't get that engagement if you personally don't have a way that you're intentionally delivering your content. So what I'm going to share today is what are some of the things that's been working for me over the over the last you know, 10 years of me putting out content and doing video? What have I learned throughout the process? What's helped me connect more to my audience? Because I can tell you for a fact today, I didn't really start consistently doing this, putting out content maybe until about eight years ago at the time I'm doing this training, right? I would say, you know, around 2015-ish is when I really started to like publish content. But I can tell you that for a fact, I am better today than I was eight years ago. And as long as I continue to improve myself, I will be better eight years from now, 10 years from now, five years from now, I will be better as long as I continue to improve. But the frameworks that we use um, for videos, one, one of them is what we call um, HSL, which is hook story lesson. So that's one of our frameworks. And we have just different other frameworks for how we create content, especially video content. But if you don't, if you're not intentional about how you create content, or how, especially video content, since that this is what all of the social media platforms are prioritizing, if you're not also prioritizing that, then you're not making an impact in the world that you really could could make. You're just trying to get by. You're just trying to tell people, oh, this is what I'm doing, but you're not really trying to get better. So you got two different types of people in this world. You got the people who do things just so other people could, could see that they're doing things and putting in the work. And then you have the other type of person that really wants to make an impact, who really wants to make a change. It's not just for the accolades. It's not just for you know, the numbers. It's not just for the followers. It's not just for the money. They really want to make a change. Came from, but then there was a point in time when I started making a transition. I said, okay, I want to do these videos. But I had imposter syndrome because I'm like, damn, nobody knows me for this. I'm new at this. Do people want to listen to me? Do they care? Would they even watch my videos? Would they, would they take action on it? Is it going to be helpful, helpful to people? So when I first started releasing my video content, I would only do it privately. Shh, I would do it on the low. I don't want nobody to know. Maybe one or two people that I'm going to send a link to. Just so you know, I used to upload videos on YouTube as unlisted just so I can take the link and slide it and send it to a couple of people like, yo, what do you think? Mind you, I'm trying to change the world, right? I, I want to change lives. I want to help people. I want people to grow in their business. I want people to grow in their life. But I don't want nobody to see my content. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't let nobody see my content. And God forbid, I would have died had I went live at that time. I don't, live wasn't even a thing at that time, right? So, um, so that's, that's the space that I was in. So, um, but, so, so my progression during that time was slow because I wasn't doing video as often and I wasn't as intentional about doing it. I was just so afraid to even do videos that I wasn't even intentional about how I'm going to do the video. I wasn't intentional about getting better. I wasn't intentional about some of the things that I'm going to teach you in this training. I was just like, yo, I did it. Check. I did it. Check. So that, so that didn't really help me. But what changed for me over, over time is the more, the more I did it, the more I got confident with it. And I'm like, cool. I'm past the point where I'm afraid to do content. I'm, I'm past the point where I'm afraid to look at a camera and do video. Um, I talked about the HSL method. HSL is hook, story, lesson. Somebody put that in the chat for me. Hook, story, lesson. So hook, story, lesson is when you're creating a content, when you're creating content, especially shorter form content, you, one, you want to create a hook. You got to remember people are scrolling, right? Regardless of the platform. And you're, they, and they need to be stopped. If you have a message that's really going to help people, you need to do something that is, that's going to help people pay attention to what you're doing. You can have the best content in the world, but if you can't get somebody to stop scrolling or you can't get somebody to pay attention, then they won't. 
And the good part about that is about this is the more that people watch your content, they're just going to watch your video anyway. Even if you don't do a good job starting off the video, they're going to stop and watch your content anyway because the, the your past content was good. And that's right. Nice. So we did question, we did statistic, we did a powerful statement. Those are usually those are usually the three that I lean in when I'm doing ads or when I'm doing any kind of video content, right? Something that's going to make you stop and scroll. Um, I'm going to give you some bonus points. Some, some brownie points on this is if you have something visually that you can show, that would be helpful too. If you can point to something on a screen or if you have an object or an item or something. you know, so I, I've had my iPad before and I've showed certain things on my iPad. So you want a hook. Then you want to tell a story because once you tell a hook, you got to give context to it, right? You say, you know, the reason I say, um, you know, the, the reason I say if you don't know your niche audience, you, you're going to fail is because when you're when you're creating a message, people want to know that the message is crafted for them. So if you're saying things that are too generic, nobody's really going to pay attention enough because they probably have heard that before or what you're saying is not really relevant to any pain points that they're facing right now. I like to tell case studies. I like to say whether it's a case study of somebody that I helped and it doesn't have to be a paying client. It can be somebody that you've helped for free. It could be a mentee. It could be somebody you helped years ago. Um, it can be it could be your own case study or your own story. Right. Or it can be a case study of somebody else. Like if you watch my content, I do blogs on Facebook every day. I do like a long blog post. Right. Different aspect of basically leveling up your business. And one of the things that um, I'll do from time to time is I'll do a case study. So I like doing case studies of like big deals. I like doing case studies. Like I, I did the case study between, um, between, um, um, Microsoft and, um, and chat and chat GPT. So I talked about that deal of how much, how many billions of dollars they invested, what we can learn from that. I've done case studies on like just different hip hop deals. And so I like to give case studies of real life examples so you can really see how this plays out in real life when people apply the principle you need to have. I just had a conversation with um, one of my clients the other day. So we were running for our ad for our, our, our social media marketing agency. Um, we're running ads for him. And um, and as we started running ads, he's getting all of these leads. He's, he's getting a lot of leads like his first his first two weeks he's got and like a hundred people interested in his product and services 95 to be exact like within a two weeks time period period right imagine getting 95 people who are interested wanting to buy what you have right so he has these leads and now i'm like okay you got the leads but now it's time to offer them your products and services you got to reach out to them so um so um i text them i'm like yo have you been reaching out to these leads and he says coach i'm gonna be honest I'm scared, <laughs> right? <laughs> and he said he's scared, you know, to, to reach out to the leads, and uh, you know, but that that's an that's an important piece to know that you know you really you really want to be there, you know, you want to be there for your client, but you want to make sure that you want to make sure that when you're giving examples, you're giving examples in a way that your clients is going to resonate with, right? Because if somebody's getting leads now, but they're scared to reach out, but I tell them that story, they would be like, yeah, but Terrell's client, man, he was scared to reach out too, but, you know, but he was working with Terrell, man, and he, and he got the confidence to be able to, to, to call those leads and make money. So, you know what? I can do it too. And that is how you're going to get people who are watching your videos, who are watching your training, who are watching you on stage. That's how you're going to get people to take action because I told that story. Now, had I not told the story of how one of my clients was afraid to be able to call the leads that they got, then guess what? They wouldn't have necessarily, they would have heard me. I would have been like, yo, cool. Make sure that you're getting, make sure that you're getting leads and make sure that you call the leads. And they would hear me like, okay, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Terrell, I see it. That makes sense. You know what else makes your content and training more valuable? Your tone. You know, your tone. Let's add tone and then let's add your non-verbal, non-communication skills. Your non-communication, like that's, that's key, which is part of non-verbal, right? But that's really like your tone, your passion. Are you, that, there's a reason why we don't like to listen to people who talk monotone, right? Because it is not engaging. So show passion, show that you're interested in it. When you show that you're interested in it, 
other people are going to be interested in it too. So you want to focus on that. Focus on bringing the energy, bringing the interest, bringing the excitement, bring something that people are going to be able to take away and walk away with and say, damn, that this is something that I truly, and this is something like I really enjoy this. You ever watch something? This, I'm going to give you some homework. This is my homework for you. And we stream it everywhere right now. I'm giving, I'm giving homework. My homework for everybody, for you who's watching, the next time you see a video that you like, might be this one, right? Next time you see a video that you like, I want you to write down why you like that video. Why? What was it about that video that you enjoyed? And for me, it's some of the things that I'm telling you. I'm like, yo, I love when people give me real life case studies. I love when people have a framework that I can remember. I love when I'm hearing people who tell stories. I love when I see the person that I'm learning from have their passion, have the excitement, have the enthusiasm for what they teach in. Because that conviction, that emotion that they have, it transfers to me. And that's what gets me excited to say, I need to go out and I need to make something happen. One person to say, wow, I love what you're doing. Um, can I work with you? One person to say, wow, you need to be in this magazine. You need to be on this stage. But if you don't approach every video or every training with intentionality, the opportunities will never come to you. Right? So we got to focus on that. All right? But with that being said, I love you all. Appreciate you all. You'll be great. Don't let, ever let anybody stop you. And uh, let's get to work.